Hello, everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne. I'm a certified RV inspector, and today we're going to be talking about Cummins Onan RV generators. Are they really as good as so many people claim? And if you have one, how do you take care of them and maintain them? Well, if you do a lot of boondocking, a generator is often considered to be essential equipment in your RV. And that's true even if you have a lot of solar installed. Because there are days in the summertime when you're going to be very happy that you can run your roof air conditioners to stay comfortable. And when you do, you're going to need a generator to run them for any length of time. There are also periods where you could go days without sunshine. And when that happens, the effectiveness of your solar is really diminished. But even if you mostly stay in RV parks and campgrounds, a generator can still be very helpful, especially in those times when the power goes out. We've had that happen a lot to us in our travels. We were happy we had a generator when it did. Or maybe you're traveling somewhere and you just stop and stay overnight somewhere instead of in a park or campground. Well, then a generator will make that so much more comfortable. And for many RVers, if you have a 30 amp service in your RV, well, a portable inverter generator will work just fine for you. But what about larger RVs? What about RVs like diesel pusher motorhomes or a Super C or larger fifth wheels and so on? Many of them have 50 amp electrical services. So what if you want to run everything in that RV like you do when you're hooked up to shore power? Well, then you're probably going to need a 50 amp generator. And that is where Cummins Onan generators really shine. Now let's talk just a little bit about the company itself. Onan has been making generators since 1926. And that means that they're coming up on a hundred years of making generators. Cummins bought them in 1986, so they have had ownership for almost 40 years. And at this point, Cummins Onan has 85% or so of the market share of generators in RVs. Wow, that is impressive. And these days, if you go and you buy a new motor home or a larger fifth wheel, the chances are that you're going to find a Cummins Onan generator in it. So why are they so popular? And why do manufacturers like them so much? Well, let's talk about the pros of Cummins Onan generators. And the first pro is that they are relatively quiet. <laughs> What do I mean by relatively quiet? Well, honestly, smaller inverter generators may be more quiet decibel-wise. However, when you run a Cummins Onan generator, you'll notice that the tone that it puts out of the sound is very low. So even though a, an inverter generator may have fewer decibels with the sound it puts out, the sound that comes from the Cummins Onan generator may not be as noticeable. So that's why they're relatively quiet. The second pro is that if you maintain your Cummins Onan generator, well, they are super reliable and they last an incredibly long time. In fact, a Cummins Onan generator will probably outlast the RV that they are installed in. That's an amazing thing to say. The third pro is that if you have to work on them, well, parts are readily available pretty much, and you can find repair facilities and technicians almost anywhere. Of course, there's lots of Cummins facilities to pull from, but there's quite a few independent facilities and repair techs that can work on Cummins owning generators too. 
Now, our next pro is that they're very flexible. They can come in diesel versions, gasoline versions, and even LP versions. And uh, that leads us into pro number five, that that makes it very convenient for you as an RV owner. Because often they have a remote start, so you don't have to go out and start something somewhere like you very often do with many inverter generators. Also, they're going to run usually off the fuel that you have in your RV. So for instance, for us, we have a diesel pusher. Our Cummins Onan generator runs off the diesel that's in our fuel tank. And as long as we're above a quarter tank, well, it just keeps running. So I don't have to even think about the fuel for the generator unless it gets down to that quarter tank mark. And that's very convenient. Well, those are all good things. What about the cons? Well, the number one con of a Cummins Onan generator is that they are big. They're heavy. They can't be moved around like a portable inverter generator. And so that is something you have to plan for and consider. The number two con is they usually need space in the RV. So that means that even though space and weight is at a premium in an RV, you've got to find somewhere to put that Cummins Onan generator to be in its permanent spot. The third con is that they have to be exercised regularly if you're going to get good service out of them, and especially the diesel and gas versions. The final con we're going to talk about is that they can be costly to replace. Yes, the smaller Cummins Onan generators will start around $3,000, and they can go up to almost $15,000 for the big boys, the 12,000 watt generators and so on. Now, the flip side of that is, remember, we said that usually they outlast the RV they're in. So you don't have to replace them very often. But if you did, you have definitely got an expense coming up, a major expense. But, you know, if you compare the pros that we've talked about and the cons, well, Cummins Onan generators really are a great choice for many RVers. A lot of really good points on the pro side, I would say more than are on the con side. And if you have a larger RV, well, that'll work very well for you. Now let's talk a little bit about maintenance. How do you keep these big generators going? The number one thing I talked about earlier is exercise them. If you're not using it regularly, then about once a month, you need to crank up that generator and put it under load. What do I mean by that? Well, you need an electrical draw that's pulling a lot of power and makes that generator work. So to do that, you probably could turn on an air conditioner or two, and you'll definitely get that generator working then. You could also use the electric element in your water heater, uh, electric hair dryers, things along that line. You get the point. You need to get that generator up and going and providing power. If you do that for a couple of hours or so, then you can turn those uh, items off. You can let it cool down and uh, you'll be fine. Again, should be done about once a month when you're not using that generator regularly. Now, the next thing you need to do to maintain them is watch the maintenance schedules for things like oil, air filters, spark arresters. Those need to be done fairly regularly. Whatever your manual from Cummins Onan tells you to do for your generator, follow that very carefully. And then there are some items that need to be taken care of on a, a basis that's a little bit longer. And that's things like flushing the coolant, changing your fuel filter, and so on. But be religious about those things. Do not neglect a Cummins Onan uh, generator. Make sure that you take care of it and replace the items that need to be replaced 
uh, as they come up. You know, keep a record of what you've done and stay on schedule. Now, some of the tasks that you can do on Cummins Own and Generators can actually be done by do-it-yourselfers. You know, you guys out there that know what your way around engines and you love tools and working on things. Well, there's nothing super difficult about maintaining a Cummins Own and Generator. But for the vast majority of us, I would say that maintaining and repairing your Cummins Own and Generator is best done by qualified repair techs that are familiar with Cummins Own and Repair and maintenance. You know, there's a few things that even myself, I don't try to tackle. When it comes to the RV part of my rig, well, I'll do a lot of the things that have to be done there. But when it comes to the chassis and that, that generator, well, I'm going to let the pros take care of that. But that's my decision. It's up to you to decide how you want to do it. Here's my final statement on Cummins owning generators. We love our 7,500 watt generator. It has worked so well. It has been so reliable. We haven't had the first problem with it in our ownership of the RV. So as far as we are concerned, we believe that Cummins owning generators really are just as good as so many people claim. And that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.